All right, guys, welcome to today's live stream video. We're going to check out a list of websites that we want to enrich. We recently had a customer reach out to us at Coldlytics that was looking to uh, provide us a specific list of websites. So they identified companies they want information on. They've said these would be great prospects for them, but they don't have the decision maker's name. They don't know what their email address is going to be or where to even find that information, along with other details on the company they'd like to know before beginning to reach out to these different website owners or company owners. Um, so I'm going to show you how to enrich that that list. Um, there's a couple of different use cases that you might run into this with. Um, one of the more popular ones would be um, getting a list of your Chamber of Commerce members and finding emails or contact information for all of the different Chamber members in your local Chamber. Um, you also might have a list of event attendees or um, uh, the kind of exhibitors, those who have rented booths at certain events, and you've got that list of them and they might be great prospects for you, um, but you don't have their information. So that's a couple of common use cases for this. Let me share my screen with you and we will go from here. So let's share the screen. We'll take a look at a list that I've curated of emails. Uh, this is a list of websites of marketing agencies. So let's jump right over here. So if we take a look at this list, it's very straightforward. We just put it in a Google Sheet. We've got a list of websites here and there's 50 of them in total. And let's say we wanted to take this list and get this turned into actual information that we can use in an email campaign or a cold calling campaign, et cetera. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the share button. We're going to set this to anyone with the link can view it and we'll copy this link. Then we're going to go over to coldlytics.com. And if you don't have an account yet at this time, that's okay. Just go ahead and visit coldlytics.com, click on sign up now or get started. And you can create a free account to follow along with this video to see exactly how it works for yourself. And you can save this as a draft in your account and use it when you're ready to uh, go ahead and do that. So for this example, we're gonna come over here and click on new task as always. And we have three different types of list building um, options. And we're gonna go with option number three for a custom list source. And right here we see enrichment sheets, Google sheet URL. So let's paste that link that again, we just grabbed from here. We went to share and we grabbed the link, copied it, pasted that link in here. Don't make the mistake of grabbing the one from your address bar. The link in your address bar is not viewable by other people. It's just local to your device. You have to do the share button and copy link. Um, so once we're in here, we're going to click next after we've submitted that link, we're going to set the seniority levels of people that we want. So let's say we're looking for an owner, founder, a director, executive, if we can't find one, or even, you know, if we, rather than not getting any prospects, um, let's say for certain co companies that don't have a decision maker at a higher level, you could even get the middle management people as a fallback too. Of course, we'll always prioritize for you the highest level of decision maker first and then work down the chain from there if that information isn't available for us to find. Um, if you have specific job titles that you wanna look for for people in those companies, you can enter them here. But so far, so good. We're gonna click on next. Um, we'll go over here and click on the deliver button. We could add other filters to say, hey, you know, qualify this list a little bit for us um, and, and tune it in. But in this case, you know, we know because we provided this list of websites that they're exactly who we want. So we'll just click on deliver and we'll get into the data points here. So by default, we've always got the first and last name of the prospect, the company name, their job title, um, a, their direct email address, and of course the link to the company's website. And then you can come over here and select from different data points. So maybe if they have a LinkedIn profile, you'd want that information. Maybe go follow them on LinkedIn. Um, maybe you want the address of the business so you can know exactly where they're located. That's great to know too, especially if you're doing direct mail campaigns to have that information, at least in your database, right? It's not costing you anything to add it. Um, you can get the phone number for the business as well. And that's just something that's kind of a good housekeeping item to have available to you if you need it. Um, if you're doing cold calling, then you'll want to use this data point. We do charge an extra credit for it because it's an extra research project for our team, but this is the direct mobile number or direct desk line for the specific contact that we provide you. On average, we find about 20% of these as compared to direct emails that we provide. At minimum, we'll always provide you a direct email. And then if we can find the direct dial, if you've selected this data point, then we will provide those as often as possible as well. If we continue to scroll down here, you'll see that we can get links to the company information. So their social media links. Um, we can find out what kind of revenue numbers these companies are doing for you, how many employees they have, um, what year the company was founded. That's a great one. Um, we can tell you if they have advertising pixels installed on their website, which is a good positive signal if you're a marketing agency trying to sell agency services that tells you that they're kind of up to speed a little bit on some best practices in marketing and, and at least have half a clue as to what's going on.
Um, if we go further down the chain here, we've got options for Google Analytics detection. If they have an e-commerce function on their website, we can tell you if it's been built on WordPress. One of my favorites for marketing agencies is just how fast that website loaded. Um, so great information to know. You can add all of these. They don't they don't charge, we don't charge any extra for those. Um, you're using one credit for all this contact information. So let's go ahead and click the next button. You could put in here in the additional notes, kind of a summary of what you're looking to do if you'd like. But in this case, it's pretty straightforward. So we're gonna click the finish button and we'll come over here and we're gonna give this task now a name. So we'll call this websites to enrich. And then we'll go to contacts required. There was uh, 50 on the list. So let's do 50 contacts required, one co contact per company. If you're trying to find an entry point to a company and it's a fairly large company, it might be worth changing this to maybe three or four um, to reach out to as many people as we can find for you at that company, right? Um, because the first person might say no, but somebody else might have the power to say yes as well. So in that case, you know, you might want to double this up or triple it to, you know, 150, for example, if you're going to get up to three contacts per company for each one. Uh, but in this case, we'll keep it nice and simple. We'll leave it at 50 contacts, one per company, and then we'll click on this blue launch button. So what happens is we've assigned 50 credits to this task now, and it's being allocated to the best member of our team to conduct this research. Um, so if you're wondering what the pricing looks like, let's go over to the billing and payment section for a moment. We have three different tiers that you can use to get uh, lists enriched or to have us source a list for you from scratch, as you'll see in our other videos. Um, the entry level plan is the light plan. It's $99 a month. It gives you 100 credits. So you're paying effectively 99 cents per contact that we're providing you at that rate. Um, in the first month, there is a promo that we're running right now. So you get an extra bonus of 25 credits, giving you 125 credits for $99. Um, we don't have any contracts. So everything's month to month. If you use this for a month or two and then you don't need to continue to use it or your, your operations have changed, no problem at all. You can just cancel at any time by messaging us with this chat bubble in the bottom left-hand corner requesting to cancel and we'll process that for you straight away. Um, the more popular plans are the basic and pro. And the reason for that is that if you're serious about doing cold outreach, the more volume you can do, the more power you have to um, analyze the data that you've got analyze the responses that you've got and improve your campaigns and ultimately drive more leads for yourself, for your business. Um, so again, respectively, these go to 79 cents and down as little as 59 cents per credit. And one credit is one, one row on a spreadsheet, basically um, one contact. So this is a quick overview of how the pricing works. If you guys have questions on this, please do just ping me and ask. Um, I'll Stop sharing my screen here. I appreciate you guys watching this. If you have additional questions, you can also reach out to me on the website live chat. This has been a demonstration of how you can enrich a list of websites to try and find prospects that are very specific that you have a list of, regardless of where you've sourced it. If you have a list of websites, we can turn that into a list of prospects for you to start prospecting with. So thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day.